Good morning. How are you, Frank? Rick? Got a hell of a place here. Frank, I just want to let you know I'm not taking what happened last night personally. I just look forward to getting past it. But on to something more positive here, I do have the startup money for the Sea Cliff, $50,000. When do you think you could start building the boats? You know, when I went home last night, I couldn't even think about sleeping. But here's what I did think about. My son is living with you in your house, and I have absolutely no idea of what kind of man you really are. And honestly, that scares the hell out of me. Well, Frank, you're a good dad, you know. But uh, before you start letting your imagination run away with you here, I'd ask you to remember something. It's true that you may not know me so well, but you do know Danny. He lies. I know that. He lies to his mother, his grandmother, teachers, the police, and just about everybody. But. But what? He doesn't lie to me. Hard as I tried, I couldn't think of a single time. I didn't kill anybody, Frank. You know, probably not, Rick. Glad to hear you say that. As long as my son is living with you under your roof, probably isn't good enough. Jesus Christ, Frank. This... Hey, what, who's this guy, Ray? What, what about him? He's your, your school chum. He's your business acquaintance. Uh, he's, uh, the other day I saw him. He's looking for real estate. Right. Yeah. So now it's Ray I supposedly killed. Is that right? <laughs> I tell you, Frank, trying to be a stepfather to a child that hates your guts isn't exactly a picnic. I thought you were on my side for this. I'm on Danny's side. Look at my best to Diane, then, Frank.